My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded. We're going through just doing one of each character. Oh, the construct. It's been a while, my friend. It has been a while. I'm not going to start with Cogwheel, one artifact at the start of each combat. That's in the base game. It's a clockwork souvenir. Oh, I wonder if that's a reference to the construct mod in the, in the game? Hmm, it might be. Uh, anyway, we'll go to the Construct, we'll go to Convig, and yep, start with the Clockwork Relic. I find that, personally, much more engaging. And Ascension 1. Another try, don't mind if I do. By the way, the Clockwork Phoenix, your upgraded Construct cards can now be mega upgraded outside of combat. Hell yeah. Uh, definitely going to be taking 24 damage to remove two cards here. Ooh, we've got, actually... We've got the art in now. Nice. Say we, I'm not associated with mod at all. I just play it from time to time. All right. Mm -hmm. There's a three lead opening path with two question marks in the opening. Sure, not bad. I'm gonna double defense, single strike. So if you're unfamiliar with this character, this character heavily relies on manipulation of their strength and defense. So, they have these two things in their deck, attack and defense mode. Defense increases your dex by two, loses your strength by two, and attack mode does the inverse. And cycle is a mechanic where if a certain condition is met, the card will be recycled. So it'll go into your discard pile and you will draw a new card instead. Uh, so if your dex is negative, you will cycle all of your defense. Now, unfortunately, the cycle only works once per round. So if you've already cycled this particular defend card, you can't cycle it again. You can cycle each individual card once per round though. So do I already want to go aggressive? Probably not. I'm just going to double strike and then end my turn. Double defend and now attack mode strike. Yep. So now all of my defense are cycling, but sometimes I will get stuck with ones because I got them after the cycle. After they had already cycled, that is. Not bad. Mode shift. Swap your dex and strength draw a card. Okay, that's the same as it was before. Metal shell gains six armor. Sorry, gain two, uh, six block and two armor. Armor gain block at the end of each turn. Reduce when you take unblock damage. That's plated armor, isn't it? Reduced when you take unblocked damage, gain block at the end of each turn. That's, that's, that is literally the definition of plated armor though. Heavy bolt. Yeah. I'll take a metal shell for a defensive option. All right. I'm not too keen about this. Uh, my best option here in terms of saving my HP is to defense mode defend, but my second best option is to triple strike the front line and just stand, take the five. If I defense mode defend, I am defending against seven, so I'm taking four this turn still, and I leave both of them on the field. I don't know why I would do that. I'm taking one more damage in order to basically remove someone from the field here. It's pretty good. Okay. Come on, and that's all we needed. I actually always thought Venstein was pretty, uh, pretty empower, pretty empower, pretty important and powerful. I was trying to say at the same time, uh, it's to exhaust a card to apply two weak and two vulnerable on the upgraded, and on the upgrade, it is exhaust one card, apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies, which is shockwave. That's the effect of shockwave for one energy, and it allows you to exhaust something, and it itself does not exhaust. That said, neither of the cards we picked up so far define our strategy. We still need to do that for ourselves. Whoo, a relic. Best result. I actually probably could have gone for the heal as well. Okay, a relic, we get Pondfish Scales. Whenever you play a skill that does not give block, gain two block. That's actually pretty good because number one, Vent Steam doesn't, so it now just gives me two block. But Attack Mode and Defense Mode are both skills that don't give you block. You know what? I'm going to choose to go on a two elite path instead because there's more upgrades and we can mega upgrade cards. So we should probably get to doing that. 
Uh, what event steam burner defends? Strike metal shell. Defend attack mode double strike? No, I just double strike. We can't attack mode yet. So attack mode on these is 24. All right, so I'll defend with the defense mode. Then I'll go into attack mode and throw in some damage. Vent steam on a defend. Play a metal shell and strike. And now we set up for lethal next turn. Beautiful. Whew. Uh. Critically hit. Cycle unless an enemy is weak or vulnerable. Deal 14 damage. That's probably it's probably probably pretty important that I take that. The vent steam is gonna give me the ability to to get the critical hit. And the critical hit is not gonna have a negative unless I Actually it doesn't have a negative, right? Because because of the way that cycle works, I the the cycle here is a negative. So if I cycle it, then I'm just drawing past it into a different card. And if I cycle it twice and get it in my hand, then fine, that's what I wanted. So it doesn't actually have a card cost. It doesn't have a draw cost. That's the really important thing to keep in mind about cycle, that it doesn't have a draw cost. I really want to upgrade the event steam twice. Cool. Okay, our opening hand has both the defense mode and attack mode here. Not bad. Uh, I definitely want to Metal Shell. I definitely want to Vent Steam. I'm probably going to get the Defense Mode out of my deck. The primary reason for that is I can't... You have to be aggressive in this fight, so I can't really ever play the Defense Mode. Yeah. Unfortunately, the enemy wakes up this turn no matter what I do, so... May as well be attacking. I probably should have used the Attack Mode the turn before, knowing that I was going to be in that position. Yeah, that would have been correct. And Steam to burn the metal shell now. Mm -hmm. Attack mode, and then. Oh, I just load in that damage. Cool, cool. And there's the kill. Centennial puzzle the first time you use HP to combat trophy cards, as well as a steroid potion. Uh, hmm. Delay damage hit twice if the enemy doesn't attend to attack or defend. So if they're using a self buff or a debuff, how common is that? I don't know. I don't really want to do that. Omega cannon, deal 15. We're not particularly a strength deck yet. And electric armor is cycle if your dex is less than one. Gain thorns equal to your dex. This is like a totally reasonable thing to take and build around. I'm not going to do it though. Let's get our mega upgrade here. Vent Steam plus plus. Hey, Thread Needle, the start of his combat gain four plated armor. That's gonna really help us form some defense, despite the fact that our deck doesn't naturally have it. So if I want to go for an earlier elite, I can get my rests both at the end. Do I want that? Is that preferable? Probably not. Probably. Um, no. Whew, this fight could actually be pretty bad. Never mind, we got the vent steam. Yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, if I attack mode strike, I can actually kill the midliner. That's not half bad. Weakening and making everyone vulnerable. And now my critical hit stays with me as well. Oh, yes. Shield potion. Gain 12 shielding. That's not bad. Uh, when a card cycles, deal one damage to a random enemy. We're not really going to be using that. Scrap cannon. We don't have that many things that we can exhaust. I don't know what the mega upgrade of scrap cannon is, though. I wish I could check. Oh, well. It's probably not the infrastructure in the base game to allow me to do that. No shift, fear smash. No laser core, panic button. Don't want the panic button. Definitely don't want mode shift. Definitely don't want regrets. Meltdown. Do I want meltdown? No. 
So I'll opt to pair that with something I know it doesn't pair with. I want to mega upgrade the critical hit. I want to see what it does. Actually, I can check what it does now. 25? I mean, if I have it in play, that means that someone's vulnerable, right? Well, for me, it does mean that. Okay. Uh, pfft. lame. Defend steam, build that, defend, and then it can kill you. Still fully defended, hell yeah. Weakness is awesome. I can critically hit one of you out of existence, and then I can vent steam on a defend, and then I play a defend. Not at all bad. I really thought this fight was actually going to be a little bit of a problem for us, because <laughs> I had no AoE. But, yeah, not at all. Yeah. I'm going to shift into attack mode now so that I can cycle everything that's not attack. Because I'm going to win the fight. Uh, because I was defended with my plated armor anyway. So I was already covered. Battery acid. This was changed, wasn't it? Yeah, it's shuffle one slime into your draw pile rather than giving it into your hand. Draw pile. So the mega upgraded version of this used to be gain three energy this turn and three energy next turn. The mega upgraded version of this is, becomes zero cost, doesn't it? It's on top of your draw pile. And, uh... No, we don't want any of those. All right, this fight could actually be annoying. Uh, we'll vent steam on the defense. I probably play the metal shell. No, I'm gonna go for damage. I could use shielding this turn. In fact, I'm going to. And yeah, we're covered. Whew, nice. Divine protection, gain eight shielding at the start of each combat. I think this relic is insane. I love it. Hammer down, double your strength and dex. Cycle if there's more than one enemy. Your attacks deal double damage this turn. We won't isolate. I, I definitely do want to do like a powerful hammer down build. It's just I don't know what a powerful hammer down build is. Um, I'd love to go to this space, but it might not have the ability to upgrade a card. And upgrading is the most important thing to me right now. So. <laughs> Look at the name of the card now. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. All right. Uh, strike metal shell. Next turn's going to suck. 18 damage incoming. I'm never going to be using defense mode in this fight, so I may as well vent steam on the defense mode. So I'm defended naturally for eight this turn. Attacks deal double damage this turn. That means nothing. I may as well just double strike. I'm just going to go all aggressive. I only lose two against my shielding there. Yeah, there's the mega crit. It's going to be a while before they deal more than six damage a single turn. Uh huh. Then. Vent Steam on a defend. Good. That means my Mega Crit is now available as well. Isolate Mega Crit. 93. Not bad. Not bad. Adrenaline Potion as well as Clockwork Egg. Eighteen damage lose twenty gold. Twenty-two damage lose fifteen gold. Mega upgraded version is probably like 
40 damage, something like that. Uh, reserves, cycle if your HP is uh, above 20. But the thing is, if you cycle, if you draw back into it after that cycle, you just get to have it, right? So the cycle here is a gain and negative. Um, but you gain three cards and draw, th gain three energy, draw three cards. The upgrade is 30 and then the upgrade after that is 50, right? So if your HP is good and your deck is thick in particular, you won't get it. I might go with the Clockwork Egg. Yeah. I'm going to try and prioritize upgrading that. And we need the extra energy. As much as I want to take the Ring of Chaos, the extra energy is actually pretty powerful. It's a shame. I always want the Ring of Chaos, like, I guess, as I start. I've had a couple of people say, Rhapsody, what if you just, like, you know, gave yourself, using the mod launcher or something like that, uh, sorry, the, the console. Uh, what if you just gave yourself the... Uh, what's it called again? The the Ring of Chaos at the start of each battle. Yeah. yeah I could totally see myself doing that. At the start of each run. I, I would do a run where I replace my starting relic with it. There we go. That's what I meant to say. My apologies. My brain is uh, not working great. I blame the painkillers. Oh, because I haven't mentioned this in this series yet. Only in every other series that's come out today. So if you've seen everything else, then you will have already heard this. Uh, this video is brought to you late, courtesy of surgery. Surgery, the least fun way I've spent a day. <laughs> okay, it's close, but it's not actually the least fun way I've spent a day. My sleep fits. Um... Yep, that's a kill. Uh, backfire? What's your mega upgrade? Yo, wow, take six on the upgrade. It's 30 damage for a single. I can see why. All right. Chemical X, whenever you play a card with X cost, its effects are increased by two. That still says replay the Spire, but that's technically from the base game. It's just, it was in the base game and then replay the Spire found the code for it in the base game and then reinstituted as a relic. I think it was a potion originally and then it was brought back into the main game as a relic. Panacea is actually pretty ridiculous with this character. Uh, Apotheosis would only upgrade our non-mega upgrades. Apotheosis might actually have a place in this deck. Consider this, the hint of the century, consider this, sorry, um, consider this that I'm gonna, like, primarily hit all of my upgrades on very few cards because I'm trying to mega upgrade them. So this will always upgrade a lot. Yeah, it's Apotheosis and then probably card removal. I could take defense mode out, but defense mode retains, and it's often what I burn. Um, so I'm probably more looking to, like, take a strike out. Because I want to defend right up until I go ridiculously aggressive. So I'll take a single strike out of the deck. i probably also take Panacea. Nope. I would have loved to have 85 gold there, but whatever. I already screwed it up. I'm going to go for two elites, but I'm going to take an extra rest early. So I was going to go for three, but I'm going to go for two instead. Vent steam, burn the defense mode, isolate attack mode strength. We have so many different forms of defense, it's insane. Uh, Panacea plus strike. A mega crit, shoot a mega crit first, by the way, there. Correct ordering, just in case you were wondering. I mean, I could apotheosis, but I could also just win. Hey, very early apotheosis there. Uh, we'll burn the defense. Single strike. Divine protection is allowing me to do so much more here than I otherwise might. It's kind of insane. Uh, attack mode. Get him. 
The Panacea is allowing me to play things like defense mode and attack mode without getting a negative. Like, I have six strength right now, and that's pretty good. Unfortunately, no one's going to be weak or vulnerable this round, so my Mega Crit cycles if I get it. All right. Play both attack modes and then this strike will kill. Isolate attack mode. 48 damage on a single strike. That's, um, that's pretty good. Reactive shield when you gain block deal three damage to the lowest HP enemy. Upgrades to be innate. Mega upgrade, I just think is an increase in that. I can't remember. Uh, backup. Comes retain. No, there's nothing I really want to copy at the moment. All right. Smith. I want to smith the apotheosis, but it's important that I smith the clockwork egg again and again and again and again. And again. Woo! Okay. Nilri's Codex. At the end of your turn, at the end of each turn, rather, you choose one of three random cards to chop into a draw pile. I'm pretty unlikely to actually do that. Clockwork Egg is now gain three strength and dex every time I play it. It's actually like a really good state right now. Uh, letter open every time with three skills, three skills in single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. We do that quite often. Definitely just vent steam on the defend. And then just play the rest of them. Um, may as well have a laser core in there. It just cycles anyway. Sure. Actually going to go full on defensive. Uh, I don't want to lose two max HP. I don't think I need the HP enough to roll that. Didn't really have too much that we can play there. I mean, I can play as a proof now, but it's not necessary. I also don't want to put anything in my deck right now. Yeah, unfortunately, the stuff wore off. Hey, Mega Crit cycled, but I drew it in my new hand. So we actually do get to have it. No, I didn't want to. Damn it. Uh, I, I just, what happened there is I played the third level of Clockwork Egg because I mistook it for the second level of Clockwork Egg, uh, which was just plus three strength and plus three, but it got upgraded again by Apotheosis. And then as it was the third level, the third level is exhaust this relic, remove it from your deck. Sorry, exhaust this card and remove it from your deck. Um, you get all of the eggs, frozen egg, toxic egg, molten egg. You can see this. Gain all three Egg Relics and Clockwork Phoenix. I already have a Clockwork Phoenix. Perf uh, permanently remove this card from your deck. I didn't want to play it. I wanted to upgrade it to the level after that. That's okay, though. Stuff happens. I'm... Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty disappointed about that, though. No. Just damage. If you gain strength or dex, deal five damage from a random enemy. It loses one strength this turn. What if you gain or lose strength or dex? Is the mega upgrade. I don't do that commonly enough to do that. Damn. Vent Steam, Burner, Defend. It's coming kind of rote and routine. Whenever a card is retained, gain three block. I actually do want to do a build that's somehow about that. Antimatter, reduce your energy to zero, deal four damage for every other card in hand. No, and has a proof. Probably not. All right. Hey, there's the Apotheosis. Charge shot. I'm actually going to take the charge shot. Uh, Panacea. I'll attack mode and defense mode. Then isolate, then strike. Yes. Gathering gun. 
this is probably actually pretty ridiculous. Soul damage is worn off, and I didn't get it back, unfortunately. So Gatling Gun is going to be 6, 2x. So 2x is 8, so 6, 8 is uh, not enough damage. It's 48. Yeah, I'm probably going to want an Isolate turn. Uh, nothing there. Defense Steam on the defense mode will Isolate and then attack, attack, charge shot. Whew. Pantograph for the heal at the start. Hey, a Clockwork Egg that's already upgraded by one level. <laughs> Shh, we're going to get it. There's the level two. Need two more upgrades though. Alright. It's probably just gonna be a removal, if I had to guess. And yeah, it definitely is going to be. Probably get a defend out this time. Keep the balance rel uh, relatively even. I have to play the Clockwork Egg before I play the Apotheosis. Uh will adrenaline potion here as well. Panacea, then I'm in attack mode and defense mode just to increase our stats a bunch and then kill the fat gremlin. By killing one of them in the first round, the gremlin leader is no longer guaranteed. I'm definitely going to put the reserves in my deck. Gremlin leader is no longer guaranteed to attack this round. They still did, but they weren't guaranteed to anymore. Ha! Huh, another reserves, sure. I'm going to cycle through them, but I might draw them again. Hey, like that. There's the Clockwork Egg that I must not play. In fact, I probably vent steam burn that Clockwork Egg. Then we... Attack mode, Mega Crit, Strike. Metal Shell just for the ongoing shells. Yeah, let's put Guard Core in. I'm probably just going for the backline. Yeah. Boom. Bottled lightning upon pickup choose a skill card at the start of each combat. That card would be in your opening hand. So if I do that with a clockwork egg and double upgrade it past this point, then that's good. But I should do it with apotheosis. It just makes sense on apotheosis. So focus beam does become zero cost. It also increases damage. Sweep laser. Hits enemies more often. Good. All right. There we go. Clockwork Egg got upgraded again. Uh, I do want to attack mode, but I also don't. <laughs> uh, I'm of two minds about it. All right. Uh, definitely don't want a defense mode, so. We'll hit versatility synchronize. We don't have enough similar cards in the deck to use synchronize effectively. Panacea will isolate attack mode, strike defense, not use the clockwork egg. Gotta remind myself never to use the clockwork egg. Still need to upgrade it one more time. We're gonna celebrate it, all right. Cool. Enhance! Each turn, upgrade a random card in your discard pile for the combat. That can't mega upgrade cards right now. It needs to be mega upgraded itself before it can mega upgrade cards in your discard pile. And since all of my cards are already upgraded, what's it providing to me, right? Hey, we did actually get the reserves, nice. Isolate. I do want to actually naturally play another attack mode. I should probably play a single defend first. Natural attack mode, then vent steam on that. So now I should be cycling all of my blocks because I have negative uh, decks. It's a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. 
Enemy is purging this turn. Unfortunately, we're going to be vulnerable by the turn they get out of it. So that's that's not good. Uh, nice. Oh, uh, yeah. This uh, this could be a problem. We might actually take a bunch of damage this turn. Twenty-four by two. Yeah, we are going to as well. Wait a second. No, we're not. Yeah. Uh, bunker battery core, battery core. I could just upgrade, and then that's kind of an energy relic for me. How many times have I had an energy problems in this deck? I think past that first energy relic, I'm never going to have energy problems. Is that true? I believe it is. Okay. Uh, for that same reason, I probably go with Tiny House here rather than an Energy Relic because they just aren't necessary right now. Also, this is going to upgrade a random card for me. I did it! It actually upgraded the right card. Wow. I don't really want any of this. But now this is Clockwork Chicken. And a random relic at the end of the combat. So I just want to play that in as many combats as possible. So I actually want to go to combats rather than question mark spaces, which is a, a, a first for me. Uh, There's a path with a lot of combats and only one question mark. Wow, I can't believe that I'm actually valuing it along those lines. That's right. Only one question mark. Uh, if I was confused, I would already take seed form, but I'm not, so I won't. Burn the defense mode. Defend, and then I'll shift into attack mode. Ugh. Alright. Uh, I was really hoping I was going to get mega crit. Okay. Don't need any of those. Would I take a golden bullet that was now offered? Eh, probably. I'll vent steam, burn and defend. I'll attack mode. Unfortunately, I haven't got my dex negative. It's actually a problem for us. Put another critically hit in my deck, though. All right. Can I kill this round? Yeah, I probably should be able to. Yeah, that'll do it. Old coin for 300 gold. Not bad. I mean... Like, there's no reason not to put a lot of cores in your deck. That's... That's that's one thing that I do have... Not, like, concern for. But that I feel a little guilty about. Like, that it seems like it's always correct to put cores into your deck. Because they cycle and give you a benefit. Or chicken. That was a really good chicken impression. Uh, if I do say so myself. And I do. Alright. Ah, I should have put the God Core in, by the way. It's my bad. Panacea. And then I'll play each of you. Metal Shield, double defense. Frontline to take some more damage. And then dunk him. Flak Barrage. Yeah, I can actually probably take that now. Mm hmm. Isolate. Strike him twice. And then give him the Flak. Gatling Goal in there? Gun, rather? Sorry. I think maybe I may have misvalued this. Oh. Like, overvalued it. Oh, well. That's a self-heal that turn as well, so... It doesn't purge, which means that it's not ultimately going to make a difference. Hey, it's the Singing Ball! When adding cards to your deck, you may gain 2 max HP instead. I know. I, I could be louder, but it is... 2 a.m. in the morning, so... <laughs> so I'm afraid you're going to have to forgive me this time. Uh, three colorless cards, because any of them could be insane. Increase your non-attack damage. 
So that will increase the damage from letter opener. Uh, it'll increase the damage from laser core. That could be good. I might take that. Uh, impatience. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw three cards. That's not commonly going to happen to us. Hand of Greed is actually really, really good. It actually looks dope as hell, but it's way too late in the game to make a use of it. Master of Strategy, we just definitely take. I'm going to take Specialist as well. All right. Hey, and there it is already. Hmm? I had Specialist out and let her open and did five damage. Oh, I really thought that was going to work. I'm not going to put Shard Shot in there. I don't need it. Uh, chicken, isolate, metal shell. Yeah, it's, it's doing five. Damn. Bosco. We'll vent steam on the defense mode because we're never going to be using that. Uh, let me cast cycles game block. No, next step. No. Yeah, I'll put the critical hit in there. I've now got two critical hits in the deck. Uh, hits, rather, plural, in the deck. One of them is the Mega Crit. Yeah, and in combination, I figured we were probably going to be able to get lethal there. Uh, Peace Pipe, you can now remove uh, cards from your deck at rest sites. Yeah, but that's also where I upgrade my cards, so probably going to be doing that one instead. Also, I feel like... Has Clockwork Chicken been working? Oh, no, it has! That's, that's these. Okay, so it doesn't just... Right, uh, never mind. My clockwork chicken is working. My brain isn't. Really want to shift into attack mode, but I know that's probably wrong. Doing it. Hey, second critical hit in the deck is nothing but great for us. All right. Panacea, strike. Right. We we got we got punished as well. We should have. We haven't taken any damage yet, but gosh, we're close. Uh -huh. Forty-two. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. The forty-two on the spiker there. Also take the Omega Cannon right now. And then... Murder. Yeah. The Courier. The merchant no longer runs out of cards, relics, or potions. Their price increased by 20%. We have a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, I'm not going to take the Scope Core. I already have my own vulnerability. But we have a ridiculous amount of money, and I have no shop along my entire path. So, whatever. Uh, I could Toke to remove some cards. The uh, Actually, the first thing I need to do is up Mega Upgrade the Laser Core. We're going to have a ridiculous amount of laser course. I, I think they will, like, I guess just by the very text of the card, they should be uh, increased by the specialist, but I don't know if they are. Huh? 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 Uh. Yeah. Uh, I... I'm going to take the laser core. I, I don't know if critical hits going to work. All right. No, he's just doing two. Hmm, that's really disappointing. That said, you know, Replay the Spire was made by itself, so I have to imagine it accounts for the things in the base game. It doesn't necessarily account for all of the different nuances in other mods. It would be extraordinarily... Like, uh, like an extraordinarily onerous task to say, uh, yeah, can you just account for everyone else's mods as well? Oh, thanks. So I understand it. Don't worry. I do get it. 
Uh, I'm going to shift for some defense here because I'm actually a little worried right now. Getting a lot of burns. Got the isolate me attack mode. Uh, yep. That'll do it. Yeah, 93 damage in a single turn. Pretty good. Uh, we've got the Arrowhead. You may upgrade two cards whenever you smith. Excellent. Uh, as well as Gambling Chip. At the start of each combat, discard as many cards as you'd like and then draw that money. Now, one of the big reasons that I'm pretty happy to have the Arrowhead is because I believe there's been an update patch. Uh, an update patch. You know, as opposed to all those non-update patches. Uh, I believe there's been a patch since last I had Arrowhead. I think it might now work again. It used to work. That's actually one of my... It, it, it was one of the first... I, I think it was actually literally the first relic I picked up in my first kind of off-camera test run for Replay This Fire. And it was a relic that I looked at and I was like, I don't understand why this isn't in the game. That totally fits. It's rare as well. Yeah, it's pretty powerful, but a lot of rare relics are pretty powerful. You can remove cards from your deck at rest sites. You can get three strength, right? There are a lot of really, really powerful relics. I don't think Arrowhead needs to be nerfed. It was the first one that I looked at and I was like, oh, whew, yeah, that makes sense to me. And then there were a lot of other ones. Like, I think actually Gremlin Food was another one at the same time that I looked at that I was like, whoo, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Why isn't that all in, already in the game? And those kinds of things are the ones that really impress me. The ones that it feels like that just should have been in the game. In fact, it feels like it is in the game. When I play without the mods installed, sometimes I'm just like, well, really wish I had Arrowhead right now. All right, Sundial, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, it is every three times you shove your draw pile, gain two energy. That's actually going to happen for us quite often, but we're not going to be able to take advantage of all the energy. Tag bag, shops have all three kinds of sale tags. Sale tags can now appear on colors cards and on sale cards are cheaper. I really wish we were going to another store. Uh, wow, that's like a really good opening for us. Yeah, I'm actually going to vent it. Sure. Oh, wow. I actually still am fully defended as well. Nice. Uh, didn't get the other thing out last turn, so... Defend before we do all the strikes. I don't really like Memory Tap. I think it was upgraded, though. I think it used to be three cost. All right. Uh, Panacea Isolate. Attack Mode... I'm going to use the Mega Crit before I master a strategy because there's a possibility I draw it again. Didn't get it, but it could have happened. Stranger things have happened when you're going around the twist. Have you ever? Ever felt like this? Uh, it's a reference to the Aussies. Woo. 54 per. Well, 54 and then 64. Three, of course, slow stacks. All right, 22 in this. Yeah, you can see the energy is actually not even a concern of ours now. Uh, if, if we had a card in this deck that was just like, oh, just gain a bunch of defense or something like that, that would actually really work with us. Sorry, uh, not gain a bunch of defense, draw a bunch of cards. Gain a bunch of defense. That's not even close to what I meant. Oh, boy. Uh, if I could play the Vents theme before the Mega Crit, this would work. Like, that would kill. But I can't. Oops. I think I'm gonna take damage in this battle now. Yeah, there we go. Let's have the laser cores actually kill now. Oh, they did it! <laughs> I, I actually didn't expect that to work. Matroshka, the next two chests you open contain two relics, excludes boss relics. And... Also, War Paint, upon pickup, upgrade your random skills. Isolate got upgraded. That's actually really nice. I'm probably gonna upgrade the other Isolate now. Should I go to all of these for just more relics or give a chance for a shop to appear in one of these question marks? I'm going to give a chance for a shop to appear just because it would be so insane. 
Uh, your attacks deal double damage this and next turn. We only get Isolate probably like once a turn anyway. Hey, nice. Arrowhead's working again. Nice. Well, this is bad. I actually don't want this. Uh, I'll take the two Madness. They both upgrade on inclusion to our deck. Follow Transient. I actually don't even think the Transient's going to be able to stand up to us. I've said that before and immediately regretted it before as well. So, you know, we'll see. Should definitely shift into attack mode considering. Uh, considering the fact that I have double damage for the next turn. That's, that's the consideration I was talking about, by the way. Not bad. If we had something along the lines of a... What would really work here? Unceasing top would be insane. <laughs> I actually probably didn't even need Sozu. Like, it helped us for a while, but... Pretty quickly, we escaped the necessity of it. Uh, none of those. What are we... Yeah, three spaces from the final boss now. I'd love to play another Metal Shell, but more than that, I would love to exhaust the Metal Shell and then just attack for a bunch of damage. Bye-bye. Bandana gain Thievery. Two Thievery for the first three turns of combat. Every single time you inflict, I think it's HP damage specifically to an enemy, uh, you gain two money. All right, we didn't even get a store. Well, actually, but... We didn't get a store, but two of them were fights. And this one also is a fight that gives us a relic. So we're actually going to get the same amount of relics as if we went on the other path. So it was wrong, but not that wrong. Gosh. Yikes. That was not a good turn for us. I'm going to take HP damage already. All right. Panacea will vent steam on the defense mode. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I'm actually going to put a golden bullet into the deck now. I can lose 20 gold. I can lose 20 gold a bunch of times. Mm hmm Clockwork chicken. Oh, man, this... Uh, it's 27. That's enough to kill that one as well. Then I should mega crit the back line. Mm -hmm. And... Lazy call for the kill. Whew. Get him. Get him. I get him. Got him. Good. Unceasing top! Whenever you have no cards in hand, during your turn, draw a card. That's gonna be powerful for us. That'll work. Uh, don't need any of those. Is there anything I want to upgrade? Is there anything that still desperately needs a mega upgrade on it? Not really. I actually kind of want to rest. Hey, rest and upgrade a random card. Sure. Uh, and upgrade a Panacea. Okay, uh, Specialist actually doesn't really do anything for me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shuffle that one. What's the madness? Things like Master of Strategy for the extra card draw, that's really important. Defend, defend, madness, metal shell. Probably not gonna be using any of those for a while. That is to say my attack or defense modes. I'm actually, like, extraordinarily well-served by stalling. If I attack mode shift, these become 12 damage apiece. I can use three of them to kill this cultist. Yeah. Oh, we have the artifacting. Never mind. 
I play both of them. Uh, if you're wondering if I forgot that I have the unceasing top, yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'll vent steam on a defense, then madness the other defense. This is now an unceasing top deck. Oh, I like it. One down, another metal shell. Yeah, we are totally fine. <laughs> Mega crit. <laughs> oh, yes. The vent steam is just to burn everything that's not a laser core, I guess. And, oh, there's Specialist, of course. We still need to get that in play. Specialist. I'll attack mode. Unfortunately, I do have to play the attack modes and defense modes when they show up. Otherwise, my unceasing top cycle stops. Mm -hmm. And... The final boss is probably pretty mad about all this. Been isolated already. Hey, and it stacks as well now. Beautiful. Okay, so you can actually stack the isolate in such a way that it will actually extend its own timer. It used to just stop. I'll vent steam on the thing that has a cost in my hand. But yeah, the... the if you stacked... Oops. I should play the strike. Whatever. Uh, but if you stacked the isolates before, they would actually cancel each other out, weirdly. It, it was a wild time. I was kind of expecting just to go through all of our laser cores there. There we are. And another defend. And another laser core. That's what I'm talking about, right? The laser cores, like, they would have had a cost. Just because I have ridiculous draw right now, courtesy of the unceasing top. But they have none. In a normal deck operation, they very rarely have any as well. All right. That run took a little longer than I kind of thought it was going to, but 1,182 near bad as far as score goes. Um, it wasn't beyond perfect, okay? I was going to call that, but I didn't really think it was going to. Um, I, th I thought I had screwed up the first boss. Uh, we skipped an elite on every floor, so we could have had 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30, 60, so... Could have had 60 more, possibly could have championed any of them. Imagining we championed all of them, we could have had 60, 75 more, so it's 135 more to our score. Uh, it wouldn't have been too difficult on the giant head fight to just play a bunch of cards as well as isolate before I use Mega Crit uh, on a vulnerable target and possibly get a Mega Crit for more than 100 damage, which would have given me the... Over oh, no, I already have Overkill. Never mind. Yeah. Not too many different ways I could have picked up more. Uh, having 25 relics is you know, always nice. Uh, being faster, that's definitely how I could have done it. Uh, we could have gotten another 25 by instead of having Speedstar being under 45 minutes. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire, specifically modded. We have been using the Mod the Spire launcher, as well as Replay the Spire, base mod... Come on, please load. Play the Spire base mod, the Construct, Always Whale, Fetch mod, the Servant 0.8.9, uh, Colored Map, the Construct, I think I already said that though. That's all of them, right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. And, of course, whoo, just for credit to the end of the episode. Uh, base mod by T. Larson, the original creator. There's been contributors Test447, Harshi Kayat, uh, Blank the Evil, Robo Jumper, Flipskis, Denozin MC, Skrullpoid, Cobting, Tw uh, Twan V1, and Moo Cows Go Moo. We'll play the Spire by the Evil Pickle, Astro Penguin 642, Stuart is Me, Slimer 509, and Baku Haku, doing the art. Uh, Always Well by Modern Kenelm, uh, Fetch Mod by Murderous Duck, of course. Uh, Colored Map by Time Races and T. Larson. 
The Construct by Moo Cows Go Moo and Spike Baird, who I have to imagine is probably the artist for that because I know Moo Cows Go Moo was the initial creator of the mod. And the Servant 0.9.1. Okay, so it's been updated by Black Roos, Kuzo Mari, and Dim Light. My name has been Rhapsody. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game past, present, and future, as well as a link to the Steam store page to pick up the game, as well as a link to a video to instruct you how to install the mods made by your truly. The video is made by yours truly. The mods are made by all of the other people that I just mentioned. And the mods, of course, are linked in the description down below as well, so you can get them yourself. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.